This is the hardware setup menu of the software. First option here is printers option, where you select what kind of a receipt printer uh, you will use for printing out receipts or invoices. The first choice is a receipt printer. It refers to those small format uh, printers that print on a paper roll that's usually about three inches wide. The second one is invoice or form printer. It refers to more general uh, printers that we're all used to uh, for office and homework. Um, those are the eight and a half by 11 inches uh, size paper or commonly known internationally as the A4 format paper. And uh, the third option is no printer or to turn off printing. Um, if you don't want to use a printer, even if you have one, you don't want to uh, print your receipts or invoices with every sale, then you select this third option. Um, the interesting question we get uh, in here is, uh, do we have an option to kind of like uh, sell without printing receipts? And then on uh, separate occasions, on more rare occasions, when uh, the operator of the system decides that for this sale they do need a receipt, then they can just select to print a receipt for that one sale from time to time. Uh, then you would still select no printer to turn off printing. And then when you have that one sale that you are just deciding on the fly to print a receipt for, you would use this, you see this option in here on the main screen, uh, the F3 option that says print last invoice. And I will just print the invoice you just uh, compiled. The next option is barcode format. This is uh, useful if you're using uh, barcode scanners to tell the system how many digits maximum to expect from your typical barcode that you're scanning. That just improves the, uh, the operation of the barcode scanner, the, the, the performance of it. Um, most of your uh, UPC codes or barcodes have 12 digits uh, character length, so you'd put 12 in here. However, uh, be mindful that different industries have uh, some different rules like um, cell phone serial number or hexadecimal codes if you have a cell phone store have a different length or ISBNs for books uh, that ISBN number has like a 13 character length and so on and so forth. The next option is uh, selecting printers for each particular task in the software. The first selection we need to make is what printer we're going to use for receipt or invoice uh, printing. Uh, and of course in here we can select all the same printer if we just have one printer and want to use it for everything but if you have uh, separate printers for every task and you just want to do things on separate specific printers you want them done a specific way this software certainly allows you that so for a receipt printer let's just go ahead and um, select our receipt printer we have in here kitchen printer let's say it's the same printer bar printer uh, as the printer is going to print in the bar then reports printer we're going to use a big regular printer for that and barcodes printer let's say also a big regular printer we're going to print barcodes on that one the next option is cash drawer and receipt printer settings um, typically if you have a cash drawer that needs to be properly um, connected to your receipt printer because uh, the receipt printer is the one that drives the opening of the cash drawer that controls the cash drawer so the cash drawer connects to the receipt printer and if you don't have one of course you'll select no cash drawer in here but if you do you will select use a cash drawer and then you have two more settings to do for that um, you will need to select the receipt printer that your cash drawer is connected to so our software knows which receipt printer will be uh, controlling this cash drawer let's say this is our receipt printer here and then uh, finally you need to enter the decimal code or the hexadecimal code uh, that that particular printer uses in its language in order to open the cash drawer so you will find this in your technical manual uh, for that particular printer or if you can't find it there you would call a technical support of the printer printers manufacturer to find out what their decimal code is for controlling for opening a cash drawer so I'll just go ahead and type in our decimal code in here for this printer that we have
Now the next option is pole display settings. If you choose to use a pole display, all you need to do is, of course, uh, have that pole display properly connected to your PC and install its drivers for it. And then simply select the port that this display is uh, connected to. It will usually be uh, COM 1, 2, 3, or 4, any of the COM ports, or a USB port emulating a COM port. And then select the maximum characters per line that this uh, display port uh, display uh, pole can can do can perform uh, usually there are about 20 characters per line so our software knows exactly what it can print out in one single line the last option here is weight scale settings if you decide to use a weight scale in your business you would just plug it into the correct port in your PC install its drivers and simply just select the a port of the computer where this uh, weight scale is plugged into. Again, this will be one of the COM ports, the serial ports on your PC will be COM 1, 2, 3, or 4. Once you're done with these settings, all you need to do is click Submit Changes uh, for the changes to be saved to the database. And uh, you'll get this window here informing you that uh, the info updated successfully and the software just needs to restart in order for the changes to take effect. So as soon as you click OK in here, the software will restart itself.